All right, as we head into our Saturday, it's going to be a chilly start to the day, but a nice, warm, sunny day is ahead. And if you like Saturday, you'll love Sunday. And if you love Sunday, well, you're just going to absolutely love next week. But hold on a second. Don't go out to the, the, the big box stores and all the local stores and start buying those plants and thinking that you're going to get out to plant that there are not going to be any more frost or freezing temperatures. I'll explain coming up here in just a moment. We get the morning started with temperatures uh, in the 40s, so a bit on the chillier side. The wind's going to be with us, a little breezy, a little gusty at times, but not nearly as breezy and windy as it was on our Friday. So highlighting that weekend forecast, sunny and 71 on Saturday, a few afternoon clouds, but we're going to be pushing close to 80 degrees on into our Sunday. Big ridge of high pressure dominating the weather pattern across much of the country, and that's going to be the story as we get into next week. So Saturday's highs will be in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, but Sunday we're talking 70s and 80s for the most part, so a beautiful warming trend on the way. When we look ahead, not a ton of rain expected over the next seven days, but there is a little bit of light rain that is possible on into our Wednesday. Temperatures, we were chilly on Friday. We're going to be warming up into the 80s as we get into the weekend and next week. Low temperatures, chilliest mornings will come through Friday, or excuse me, Saturday, uh, well, this morning, uh, and Friday next week at 36 degrees. Other than that, we're going to have temperatures for lows in the 50s. As we look ahead, though, April 18th through April 22nd, we're trending a bit on the average side here locally. But notice this big pocket of cooler air that's going to be settling on in. Now, these are probabilities. Probabilities have increased that we have a shot of some colder air coming through possibly the 20th through the 26th. Let me explain. When we look at 850 millibar temperatures, that's temperatures at 5,000 feet. Why would I look at temperatures at 5,000 feet when we live here on the surface? It gives, it gives us a good indication of warm intrusions or cold intrusions. For this time around, we're talking about cold intrusions. What these are, temperatures are, are 32 degrees or colder at 5,000 feet in elevation. This is Friday, April 19th. Watch this. That colder air may be coming on into our area. We'll see how this all plays out. This is a long ways away. But if this holds true, we're likely to see a hard freeze and some frost forming through the weekend of the 20th. So it's a good idea to always stay on top of the weather situation by downloading the East Tennessee Weather app. If you've not done so, just search East TN Weather from the Google Play Store, the App Store, Roku TV, Amazon Fire. Oh, you can find me on YouTube as well and all social media platforms. But this is a great tool to have in your back pocket. On days like Friday, when we had those splash and dash showers, we had a little bit of hail showing up. You can get your daily forecast. You have access to the only 24-hour weather channel right here in East Tennessee. So download it today. I'd appreciate the support. I'll see you soon.